What's up everybody? I am Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and we're at it again. We are going to show you another killer van and today it's going to be a road trek. It's going to be a 190 popular and these things are awesome. Before we jump into all the cool things that we did to this van, I'm going to invite you to smash that subscribe button right down there below. Give this video a big thumbs up and hey, while I'm, you know, putting out my demand list, you might as well just run over to weldtechdesigns.com and get one of these cool new hoodies. It's not really that cold today. It's like 70 here in San Diego. We're pretty lucky. I just got off a phone call with a customer who says it's like five degrees and snowing. That just sounds... So this is a Road Trek 190 popular. And of course, these things always sit really low to the ground. Um, the skirting on this is always going to be really low as well. Good. No, I, okay. All right, so we just got the law thrown down on us. We had to move back out to the cul-de-sac. We were trying to give you guys some new, um, new surroundings, new environment, but these guys over here didn't like that we were in the corner of their parking lot. So anyways, guys, back to this thing. Let's talk about this. So we were talking about the skirting on these things. And that's always a problem because the skirting does sit really low. I mean, still, you can tell that this doesn't have a ton of room on there, but it, at least it does have some clearance on there. So we've done two things on the front of this. The first thing is going to be adding that lift spindle to the front of that. That gave us a three inches of additional height on there, as well as going to a bigger tire. Now we're running this 265, 75, 16 tire on there. And keep in mind, this is still on the stock wheel, which is totally okay. You can do that on these Chevys, not a problem. So if, you know, price and budget, you're trying to do that, you know, no problem at all. Stay with the stock wheel, just run that larger tire on there. Um, and have some fun. Let's jump to the back of this thing and talk about how we got the back. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. I, I just get so excited, but we also added our Fox shocks to the front of this as well to give it that amazing ride up front. So now we can go to the back, let's go. All right guys, so we're in the back of this. Again, you can see just how much room this has. Even with the skirting on there, no problem. That 265, 75, 16 BFG fits without issue in the back of this. So we did have to add a three inch block on in the back to get this um, up to this height. It did sit pretty level and low in the beginning. Um, and then in the back of this, keeping it simple, blocks, U-bolts, and then a set of Fox shocks in the rear of this thing. I mean, this thing's just awesome. I think I'm, I think I'm ready to go for a drive. You guys wanna go? Come on. All right guys, so we are hitting the highway with this thing, road trip. We're heading to New York City. So these things are really nice. I mean, just came back from alignment, drives really good. And a lot of people always ask like if this is going to have a lot more sway and you can, man, it's just, it's nice and smooth. You know, I love taking that corner kind of fast. Uh, that was about 30 miles an hour. But um, yeah, I mean, this thing feels really, really nice. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna hit our driveway like we normally do. And that's what's really nice on this. The Fox shocks really do make a big difference just in controlling that ride. Um, you know, the only thing that you could do better to this in the rear would be to do a progressive leaf spring in the back, which would make a big difference in carrying the weight of this. Not to mention, you know, I'm not quite sure what year this is, but you know, new bushings and new springs always make a big difference on any of these vehicles. So you can feel that's what's nice is even accelerating, you know, and kind of, it's really just kind of holding the road pretty nice there. I mean, you do feel a little bit of body roll, but it's not anything crazy. Uh, overall, I mean, this is just, this would be fun to drive. I'd be down for a road trip in this. Always love driving, driving other customers' cars, getting a feel of how they go, um, just how they work, how the suspension works on there. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is fun. I can see why all you guys like these road treks, you know, it's all nice and small and compact. However, I think my wife would kill my kids if we all had to do a road trip in this. I think it's gonna be, I think that's where, uh, you know, this is probably perfect, you know, for two people. This one does not have the jump seat like you'll see in like the 210 model. I guess enough screwing off. I gotta head back to the shop 
that's all I got to say about this. This thing's fun. So uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm from Weld Tech Designs. You guys already smashed that subscribe button. So the good news is, is I'll see you guys in the next video.